There is a building in Edinburgh that has left a stain upon the city skyline. That building is called the Poop Building, affectionately by the Edinburghers, people who live here. We are going to explore that building, get a little bit closer look, and see a bit of St. James's Quarter, which is a billion dollar development here, or a billion pound development here in Edinburgh. I'm Ariel, this is Urbanus. Let me know where you're watching from and let's walk through St. James's Quarter. Right over here, we're already getting the thick of it. We already see luxury shops like Canada Goose, Sororsky Diamonds, right there, or Crystals, and many others. Hello, Carmen, nice to see you here, welcome. So right now we are located in the new town of Edinburgh. Old town is on the other side of the train station. And the new town, despite its name, it's about more than 100 years old. Uh, 1800s. But this is truly new. This is St. James's Quarter, which is a huge, massive development in order to build hotels, uh, luxury residence, and uh, commerce, specifically shops, malls, and movie theaters. So let's uh, wiggle around St. James's Quarter. Hello, Sally. Hello, Ida. Welcome to the live video. Hello, Kay. Kristen from the Philippines. Como esta acá? Hello, Mater and Nader, Raynette, nice to see you here. Hello, Diane. Hello, Reverend Jen Osadio, nice to see you here. Miles from Long Island, welcome, Miles. Do you like that new town smell? Well, we're about to smell something. <laughs> if we can find this poop building. Where's the poop building? Where are you at? So, yesterday we saw the poop building from a distance, which was from the perspective of Calton Hill, but today we're gonna get up and close to the huge turd that was left on Edinburgh's skyline. So a lot of the new buildings we're gonna see replace these older brut brutalist buildings. This was like a new development in the mid 1900s and of course brutalism not that popular not that uh luxurious so they end up making all of this but then a hotel w hotels decided to hire a architectural company called justico and wiles well they d certainly did have a lot of uh wild ideas in order to make a interesting hotel in the middle of Edinburgh that would stick out along with like five or six other hotels that are going to make a new skyline in the city. Well, the original idea was to make it look like a bunch of ribbons stacked up on each other as if um, they were referencing a photo of the fashion designer Valentino doing a uh, couture dress and he puts a bunch of ribbons upon the model's head and that's the idea. But rather than making it beautiful colors used in the clothing of Valentino, such as reds or blues or greens, I'm not sure what Valentino really enjoyed, but I'm sure it was any other color but brown. Ladies and gentlemen, we are up close and personal right now to the huge stain that has been smeared upon the Edinburgh skyline, the turd that has been dropped of the new town. Let me know if you think this is shit or the shit. Right here, ladies and gentlemen, officially called the Ribbon Hotel, but people now affectionately call it the Poop Building. It looks more like a poop 
when we see it from afar because of the little swirl on top. <laughs> Joe says, Emperor Turd is here. <laughs> Audrey says it's a vessel ripoff. <laughs> Unlike the vessel, this is actual use, actually usable. You can use this as a hotel. It's an actual hotel. It's spacey looking. Reverend Jenny Osario says, I don't like it. <laughs> it's shiny poop. Yep. Let's see if we, we, could, we gotta spot it from afar. Let's see if we can see the swirl. Here, ooh, look at these old buildings, Georgian times. They're being remade. So you can see that the, there we go. Here's the other swirl, but the other swirl's on top. Okay. Oh, cool, Diane. Miss Fancy says this shiny poop. <laughs> Indeed it is. So there has been a campaign to add googly eyes on this building so they can just make it look like an emoji. The poop emoji, that is. Yep, so it's uh, a copper colored or bronze, kind of a little bit brownish steel. Ooh, leaves markings. Let me know what steel this is. It leaves those uh, markings from the hands right here. Ugh, does not have a good feel. It's like that slimy metal. Don't like it too much. Oh, these doors just opened. So now let's go into the mall around the poop building. And says, reminds me of the lipstick building in New York City. And uh, Q&A says, my poop does not look like that. <laughs> All right, everyone, let's, let's, let's test this bench underneath the poop building. Mal says, even though it looks like poop, the architecture is cool. So here we are, right underneath the poop building. And we're sitting on this bench with a little tiny table here. This is nice because there's a cool, cool food court up here that I went with fellow mega urbanists, Susie and Gary. They introduced me to this uh, awesome food court on the top floor called Bonnie and Wild where you can find amazing, amazing pizza done Scottish style with Scottish cheeses. And there's a, a bunch of other variety of stuff, including fit, a Scottish fish, but done like Asian style. Uh, but nonetheless, this bench is actually really comfortable. I love the slope here. It adds a little bit of back supports, a little bit of lumbar supports. This is a nice uh, table. I like this. This is a good like to put a drink, enjoy the, no one walking around but at least you enjoy something uh and uh you're sheltered from the elements the poop is guarding us which is nice and this is a nice wood i like this Ooh, cool wood oh wow this is a good bench this is a really good bench uh diane says it's a uh, 70s colored yeah it is 70s colored so we are underneath the very funny piece of architecture. Nice little table, good lumbar support. The movie theater is right there. The which is a chain of uh, very comfortable movie theaters that, that sell food and drink. So it's like the Alamo Draft House version for the UK. So I'll give this bench a very good it's totally not a turd. This is a very good bench. This bench, rather than being shit, is the shit. So I give it a nice 8.6 out of 10. Hey, Kathy says, I was in Edinburgh last time. I enjoyed my visit to Gladstone's land. Oh yeah, at Glassville Island is awesome. So Kathy's referring to the Tenement Museum. And here we have the mall. 
a genuine Scottish mall, ladies and gentlemen, complete with Zara, John Lewis, and there's a lot of other stores all around here. A Bobology. Ron says, imagine telling your kids you met at the poop building. That, that would be a lovely story to tell. <laughs> so we have uh, five levels. Yeah, five levels in total. We're at the fourth level. Wow, we're pretty high up. This area is very hilly. <clears throat> Excuse me, very hilly in, in the new town. So a lot of stuff here. The fifth level is only a few stops every man. And Kay says, it seems very quiet. Yeah, it is pretty quiet. Ooh, this is cool. Look at this. Another nice bench, same one as the other one. And this one has a nice view. John says uh, they have a pho store. Ooh. You know, sometimes you just, not, you just don't have to give a pho. And just go to eat some pho. Let me show you the food court. The food court gets very full at peak dinner time, which is like 8 p.m. I think uh, at this time of year. Edinburgh was built on Seven Hills, says Audrey. Yeah, Edinburgh and basically every other major city in the world. Uh, it's funny because Rome was built on Seven Hills. Um, Washington, D.C. was built on Seven Hills. There's a lot of Seven Hills. All right, let's walk inside. I got a mute though. Okay, so that was the food court. It doesn't work like an American food court, so you can't just uh, walk in uh, and choose whatever table. You're seated, uh, and then uh, you are like given water or utensils and anything you need. And I think you might maybe order to drinks, and then you can go to whatever food stall you want. And uh, you order it that way. So it's a really, really cool food court. I recommend it. All right, let's go up here. Miles says the urbanist community is just great. Hey, how are you doing today? Says Adam. I'm doing well. Thank you so much for asking. Oh, this is a slow escalator. Whoa, that went fast. Miles says, classic urbanist music. I love it every time you go into a shop and restaurant. Oh yeah, that was uh, Coffee Break. 
from the Urbanist album. Joe says it's probably empty because of the transit strike. It could be because a lot of transit is off. So people don't know the UK is under a big transit strike. And look at this. What is this? I wonder if these are offices or going to be apartments. It's kind of cool. We got Ewan McGregor, another Scott. I don't recognize her. Who is she? And um, James McAvoy, another Scotsman. Audrey says we're on top of the turd. Yeah, we're we're on top of the turd now. We're getting close. Teresa sent 100 stars. Thank you so much, Teresa. I appreciate you. So here's the Everyman Theater. Oh, I kind of want to go. All right, who wants to catch a film? Lightyear, Top Gun, Maverick. There's a bar installed and everything. Teresa, thank you so much for 100 stars. I appreciate you. Uh, in the marquee, it said, to infinity and beyond meet. Yes, that was very funny. All right, let's go out of the mall and see if we can get a better vantage point of the poop building without going all the way up to Carlton Hill. So it's cool, this mall is semi-outdoors, so it's not fully covered like uh, many American malls. Uh, so it has natural air conditioning. I came here during the winter time and it was pretty cold. But it's cool that they don't need to use heating or air conditioning. Unless for the shops and the restaurants. Miles says, I just saw Top Gun Maverick about two weeks ago and it was great. I want to be a Navy pilot and hearing my name in the movie is fun. Oh yeah, Miles. <laughs> the actor Miles Teller did such a great job. And uh, Top Gun 2 is an amazing film. Highly recommend to anyone and everyone tuning in. Oh, Duck and Waffle is opening up here. Toilet Burst Salesman says, are you coming back for the Fringe Festival? You know, I'm so tempted. It's not in my plans, I'll tell you that, but uh, I'm tempted. So, Toilet Brush Salesman is asking about the Fringe Festival, which is a very popular performing arts festival. The big, pr pretty much the biggest one in the world. And it's for the entire month of August. So many big names actually got their start here. Uh, some big names that end up getting their start in Broadway end up getting popular here uh, and getting more fame here. For example, Limino Miranda got fame here with with uh, his troop, Lo uh, Love Supreme. I forgot the full name of their troop for freestyle rap before he wrote Hamilton or In the Heights. So it's a big, big festival. Uh, however, uh, it gets very expensive to stay for hotels. And I think it's a bit too late to get a bargain. Adam says, what, what, what city in Scotland? It's the capital of Scotland. Oh my god, this is freaky. This Lego. <gasps> it just blinked.
Uh, nice to see a New York company here, Kyle's. Typical New York place. Started in the East Village. Barry says the Royal Tattoo also happens in August. Yeah, so it's like a, so in August it attracts both young people from all around Europe and the world. And it attracts a lot of the Scots coming here from all around the country to see the ta tattoo or people just in general from the UK. And it's a huge, huge celebration. So it gets really packed. I assume the hotels are extremely expensive. Bagels and uh, Bagels and Walk says, wow, what a view. Yeah, the views are cool from the mall. Probably the only mall I've seen with beautiful views. There we go. Okay, now we're getting a good perspective of the poop building. There we go. There we go. That's why people call it the poop building. You see it? A live video from yesterday, Calton Hill, and you'll get an even better sense. With the little swirl on top. See the resemblance? <laughs> and there, there's a, literally a campaign to add googly eyes to this building. Only in Scotland you would get a campaign like that. Joe says, holy shit. <laughs> Miss Fancy says, I see it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, now it's a lot more visible. T well, you're too up close to the shit. Uh, you can't really smell it, but from here, from afar, oh yeah, the stench is strong. <laughs> Susie says to you, it looks like whipped cream. Well, brown whipped cream, yeah, that's for sure. The architect must have considered this as Q and A. Apparently, he didn't. Apparently, it was a pile of ribbons because the hotel is called the Hotel Ribbon or the Ri Ribbon Hotel. Linda says, what's in the building? It's uh, one of W hotels. <laughs> EBX girl is laughing. Yeah. Mmm, I love the smell of beautiful architecture in the morning. Or it's actually the afternoon. Barry says, that's crap. <laughs> Ron says, what a dump. Wendy says, it's a pile. <laughs> Yeah, this is a pile of ribbons. Let me know <laughs> any other puns. So apparently there were issues constructing it. So we can't see it right now, but last year there were issues constructing it. Uh, I, apparently the building was either too heavy or, or uh, the... The actual foundation, they didn't make it too strong enough, so it started to burst out on the bottom. So it started to crack. And you can say that the engineers end up making an ass of themselves by not considering how strong the foundation needed to be. So once it started cracking, people, uh, there was an article on The Guardian that said, it's almost like the subterranean bowel movements of Edinburgh are now coming out. <laughs> so you could say that uh, this has put many Edinburghers into deep constipation, I mean consternation, uh, of uh, why this building is here. It looks like my toilet after Taco Bell says Miles. <laughs> they use number two pencil to design <laughs> That's a good one, Ron. That's a good one. Uh, uh, Isabel says, I'm flushed with the views of this building. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. <laughs> That's a good one, too. Uh, well. Marita says, I, I see worse buildings. Yeah, I mean, the building's not, not bad. Uh, I don't, I, I, I'm just poking fun at it in a banter way. This is not meant to be a ser serious architectural critique. 
but you can juxtapose, uh, juxtapose it with this building right here. This is a gorgeous building. This is the Balmoral. Balmoral. Depp says, Diane says, aren't we glad that we got that out of our system? <laughs> indeed, indeed. You do not want too many jokes stuck. Hello, Alan. Como esta from the Philippines? Nice to see you here. Steven says, I traveled through Edinburgh on the Forza Horizon 4 video game. That's so cool. All right, everyone, I'll leave you here. That was a quick and short uh, video on the poop building. I hope, uh, I hope you enjoyed shooting the shit with me and that you end up feeling rather regular after this video. So thank you so much for tuning in, everyone, from the poop building here in Edinburgh at St. James's <laughs> Quarter. Hey, St. James's Quarter, beautiful. Have a good day, everyone. Keep being awesome and always keep on exploring.